Beansandmachines.com Hey y'all, DieCaster D here and we at the Foundry. I felt like making a short video to show some of the recent updates I made to the Foundry because I haven't really been keeping up with posting them on the blog and a lot of stuff has changed recently, mostly for my turntable project because a lot of things had to be expanded. So let's get into it. So here's the pattern for the turntable base. It's obviously very huge beyond the capacity of any of the flasks I had made. And I hadn't really had any good flasks to be honest so I made one for the occasion, it's this massive steel one. I call it the Mega Flask. And I'm never gonna make another steel flask, these things are ridiculously heavy. I just welded some handles on it last week. I also had to get more sand because I didn't have enough to fill the flask. That stuff's ready. And I found the lid to this turtle sandbox a while back. It was a pretty amazing find considering I had the sandbox for years. And then all of a sudden one day I found the lid on the side of the street. Now in order to cast this turntable I needed more metal. So I extended the crucible up a good three inches. And I also modified the pouring shank so two people can use it. Because that thing is honestly way too heavy for my arms. And I blinged it out with some chrome handles. I have no idea what those are from, but it was the perfect use for them. And the second half is detachable, actually. You can, oh, that lighting is terrible. The second half is detachable with a hitch pin. And the crucible is held in with this rod type thing. It's a lot better than the one I had before. For filtering the oil, I made this new funnel out of a helium tank. I bolted some mesh on the top. That's been working out good. For the burner, I was noticing a lot of oil leaking out the bottom of the furnace. So I figured it's time to reduce the oil output. So I made a little reducer to change the orifice size from 3 seconds to 16th of an inch. It's actually made out of titanium. We'll see how that works. And I finally got myself a face shield so I don't melt my face off. Yeah. So here's my oil burner. I have a blog post on how I built it, but basically I cleaned that out before I installed that reducer. And I was just testing the airflow rate with various levels of unscrewing this. And I decided right there is going to be. Because when you crank this air on, we want it somewhere between 40 and 60 usually, but don't want to drain the compressor so much. Not that you just heard anything I said, but good for you if you did. And then the oil, I added this union so it's easy to attach and detach because before I just had it permanently attached to the tank and that was a bit of inconvenience to haul around. And the tank is now pressurized with compressed air with a good regulator, not the broken one last time that caused that huge oil leak. The blower hasn't really changed much at all. I still never got anything to, other than this duct tape to secure it around the tube. But yeah, let's hook the burner up. Get the fire started. Get this party started. 